So we got that's no good versus Ace. And today we're starting on Wangaza Speedway, the shortest track in the game. Yeah, we are in the middle of our group phase currently. Per our bracket, Ace has done two matches. This will be his third, and this is not that's not good. It's first match. Yeah, Ace is a a veteran of this game. Super good, holds lots of records. That's not good. I think is a fairly new runner that just wanted to jump in, and have some fun. We'll see how this goes. We'll start with Ben. It's holding some really good boost lines here. That's not good, just taking it easy. I'm curious if that's actually a new lap record for Ace. I don't think it is. <laughs> so it was, that's impressive. Nice, mid 40. 40.612. Alright, so now that we're done the first map, oh yeah, I gotta, gotta press the button. Oh, where's the, uh, can I just do this? No. <laughs> That's not what's supposed to be here. Hmm. It's on the tracker. Oh! There's a tracker page. My bad. It's the first time I've done this. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this is cool. All right, so I think I press this button. Aha! We're learning. All right, so. If we're going through our, our perma bands. We have, each racer has two bands that they can do. They can ban two tracks for the entire mat duration of the match. Ace has banned Adobe Mountain Run. That's no good. Ban Bunta Classic. Ace bans Abyss, and that's no good. Bans Fire Mountain Rally. So those are our four bands for this for this match. I'm going to mark that as well on my end. That way I can actually keep track of what these guys are doing. A lot of Galactic Circuit has been banned. Let's see, Fire Mountain. Boom, there we go. All right, that's no good. Has banned Ben for his pod ban. Ace is temp banning Haller Gorge. Ace really doesn't like Ando Prime. I think he did this last time in his in his front, in his last match too. Something very similar. And we'll see what that's no good chooses. Ooh, we're going to Saboba Legacy. All right. So despite all of the Galactic uh, Galactic Circuit bands, we're still going to Galactic Circuit. And with no Ben, we got a lot of choices here, actually. This track is pretty, pretty contained, so 
it's not as long as some of the other galactic circuit. Another proud is even burning cold. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, so the track has been chosen. We're just waiting for the players to get ready. Yes, for those that don't know, we are split into two groups due to having a kind of funky number of participants this time around. We have 14 razors, so we split seven and seven. So those challenge links there list both of our groups in separate challenge pages. And you can see where exactly we're at. Back, huh? You race are pretty good, no doubts there, huh? <laughs> I'm curious what these two are gonna be uh using. Maybe we'll see. I mean Mars, Bullseye, maybe Bulls. Lots of good options here. Looks like Ace is going for the Mars pick. And I missed what... That's not good has. Bullseye! Alright. <laughs> I love that glitch. You hit... Yeah, you click another window, then you click back on the game, and then you press A, but then, like, escape is still holding. So, like, no matter what you do, you can't get off the, the menu unless you, like, click off the game and click on the game again. That happens a lot. But it's a, it's a 99 PC game, so. We're also not seeing skips here. So players are going to be going around the lot. Nice long roundabout at the very end. I say long, it's like two seconds longer, maybe three. It's not that much. <laughs> Alright, we're off. Yeah, Mars has a very impressive uh, boost time with the longest in the game, about three seconds. Or no. Not three seconds. It's the longest in the game. <laughs> Bullseye, on the other hand, is very agile, but has a very small boost time. Looks like you decided to go the long way there. Nice sub 40 first slot from Ace. A 51 from, from That's No Good. Yeah, that's the shortcut here that Ace is on. It's kind of tricky to do fast. I mean, it doesn't look hard, but there's some tricky uh, death points on that piece that if you're not aware of, can just easily just knock you out. Another sub 40 lap from Ace. It's a good going around the corner. Yeah, if you fall into that pit, that is a little bit of time loss. Got some a windy road to get back up to the top. So don't want to fall down there. Is coming in hot with a 157. Very nice. That's a good taking the long path here again, avoiding the shortcut that I was saying could be somewhat difficult if you're not aware. Uh, 
Oh no, come back up. <laughs> he fell though. You can do it. Sub 240, I believe. There we go. 234. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. You know what? I think he get I think he wins just because of that number. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Boop. Nice. All right, so the same procedure again. That's no good. Bans the pod. Ace will ban the track temporarily, and then that's no good. We'll choose the next track. Should probably track on here what's been done. Let's see here. Started on La Casa. With the Sebulbas. Okay. Alright, that's no good is banning Bullseye. Wonder if he has a trick up his sleeve. There are some tracks here that are optimal of Bullseye. And Ace is reading that and he ban temporarily banned uh grab by. Let's see where that's still good takes us for the third man. Sunken City. All right. Sunken City is a track that was actually shown off in the qualifier. And I'm actually surprised. Uh, Sunken City has been chosen a lot in these group stage matches so far, as opposed to last year's tournament, which Sunken City was actually the least picked track of all 25 tracks. So it's kind of nice uh, seeing it get some love. With Bullseye Band, I assume both will go to Ben, since that is optimal. I guess while we're waiting for the players to go, I can pull up the stats pages. And of course, I closed it. Back again, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so in the qualifier, Ace got a four minute flat, which is a very impressive time. Sub four on Token City is like the dream. So they have to get a four flat and a qualifier is amazing. That's no good. Got a 524. So we'll see if he improves on that time. Let's see if he's been practicing. So good going right, ace going left. Yeah, for the most part, this track is pretty bare bones. There is one shortcut kind of in the middle that's very tricky. If you don't get the right line, it'll just crash. Oh! Very unexpected crash from Ace there. Of course, that's a good crash at the same time, too, so... Didn't matter too much. Alright, they both took the shortcut. It's coming to the long boost section. Oh, he kept the boost? Ah, oh, yeah, I love that, dude. Holding the boost around that corner and getting on this... on this oval section. Feels good, man.
Yeah, that's no good to fairly newer runner, while Ace is a veteran of the game. So, we will see some... some differences here. Yeah, this match is just these two guys. Yes, Ace currently holds a good chunk of world records in the, in the individual tracks. As well as some RTA runs too. So you don't mess around with this guy. He's number he's seed number one out of all fourteen participants. Yeah, we do have another match coming up at three o'clock. So I'll talk about that later. Oh, that's no good. It takes a crash there coming out of the out of the door section. Looks like Ace held that boost again. So good. They're racing in free play. Time trial mode is kind of uh, limited to your options, but with free play, you're able to choose the number of AI that races with you. Which sometimes that's actually optimal to have one AI with you. This track because it's so simplistic, relatively. Uh, you don't need an AI. There's nothing that gets in your way. I believe all runners are playing on the PC version this time around. Yes, the uh, some recent ports for the Switch and PS4 have come out a few weeks ago. This is also on N64 and Dreamcast. Looks like Ace is coming up to the last time coming up into the oval section. Can you hold it? Oh yeah! There he goes. If Ace hadn't crashed here, he would be a he'd be really close to his qualifying time. That's not good coming up to the shortcut one last time. He takes it. Takes it nice and slow, but doesn't crash. That is good. And a 407 from Ace. Very nice. I bet without a crash, you would probably got like a 403. Yeah, very well done. That's so good as finishing up his roundabout here. We'll see if he can get sub five. Actually, no, I think it's too late for that. But yeah, there's more of the track than I thought there is. Never mind. <laughs> Right, coming up to the figure eight. Uh oh! Didn't prepare his turn in time and smacked right into the wall. Hey, at least got to boost off. Uh, five oh nine point sixteen. Yeah, I would highly recommend the GOG version over the Steam version if you're on PC. Don't have to deal with the uh, Steam's back-end shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the racers are competing by in-game time. Oh, yeah, speaking of which... Boop. Ace is up 3L. Where was that? Sunken City. Let's mark that. Uh, 
All right, looks like that's no good as banning Ben again. So we get to see some pod diversity again. <laughs> Ace is temp banning Howler Gorge again. And where are we going? Bring on Vito. <laughs> Vito's without Ben. Hmm. That'd be interesting. But he hasn't chosen yet. He's thinking. We have a lot of amateur and semi pro open. We only have three left in Galactic and three in individual. Or invitational. <laughs> Not individual. <laughs> Oh, we're going to Executioner. Oh, baby. This is the first track in the Galactic Circuit. Using no forces, so no skips. You don't get to jump over a gigantic fence. Which is okay. We'll get to see the, uh, the Tube of Death. So I think this is better. <laughs> yeah, Executioner is the only Uvu tube that you enter into the floor. And because of that, it's a very easy kill spot. What players opt to do is to ride the wall before going into it and jumping into the hole and then the gravitational force will just pull him in. That's really slick looking. Ace will probably do it. Just so he doesn't die. We did have one participant last year figure out a way to just go straight into it without turning or anything. You just whoosh. Back again, huh? I forget what potty is though. I can't remember. You race pretty good, no doubts there, huh? <laughs> ah. Oh, you did that too, Zalaskalay. Okay. Yeah, if I remember right, it was like... From what I saw them do, it was coming from the right. And just... Like, not even jumping, just whoosh, right in. I feel like the skill, kill spot's kind of in the center, but I think you have to have, like, more than max speed going into it. So for the... Okay, so for the most part, we do use max upgrades. However, traction is directly tied to your slide ability. And with lower traction, you're actually able to turn around corners easier. And with the PC version, you, you can actually change your frame rate as well, and that also changes your sliding ability. So there's actually specific traction parts that are optimal for some tracks. Ace took Mars, that's no good, took Bullseye. Alright, so here's the jump on the wall I was talking about. Jump bar right in and whoosh! Sucks you right in. That's no good. Opting not to, it doesn't crash. Good. Of course, there are 10 million rocks in this tunnel. So that's why it's the tube of death. Haha. <laughs> how gigantic Mars is, not get hitting a rock is really excellent. And if you saw at the beginning there, Ace actually has an AI with him. This is one of those tracks where it's optimal to actually have one AI with you. Because what they'll do 
is you avoid the rocks on the first lap, the AI will come through and actually crash into some of those rocks and clear them out for you. So on your second and third lap, you can just whoosh right in and not have to worry about some of the rocks. Here's this bit. I mean, you're not wrong. Yeah, Mars is actually optimal for this shortcut too, because you can just hold this boost the entire way up through here. Oh no! Just did the crash. Okay, he's still on the shortcut though. Oof. <laughs> yeah, the, gra the gravity in those tubes are just so wonky. They said a nice 360 going into it, that was pretty cool. But yeah, the, the section where that's no good is right now, that area is where you actually do the skip at. You ride the wall and just jump over to the right. And you can skip this entire tube that are in right now. Where that that's no good is in right now. And then you land here, roughly. Yeah, Bullseye is a pretty finicky pod to play with. Really good churning, but sometimes it's almost too good. Just <laughs> yeah. It's, it's insane. Yeah, it, it looked like that's no good. Did the exact same thing he did first lot going into two, but he crashed. And that's why players, most players, opt to actually jump into it. Using the wall red. Yeah, that was that was a beautiful entrance for Maze there. Oh, that's not good. Actually, missing it. Going the long way, where he's act we actually get to see a. Uh... Get to see this tube that no one ever goes in. Oh, it's like Ace's stream dropped. He's recording. He told me that beforehand. So let's get to watch That's No Good finish up his attempt here. Oh! <laughs> smack it again. <laughs> yeah, I don't think That's No Good realizes that having an AI here is optimal. He has to deal with the rocks all three laps. Yeah, using Mars or Ben here is really nice because this final tube, you can just boost the entire way. And if you're on 60 FPS, like you won't smack the walls. So you, you can just literally take your hand off the control stick and just let it go until you hit the end of the tube. It's really nice. Okay, almost it repairs fire. Ooh. Yeah, so from Ace, we got a, he said he got a 408, and that was a 447. I mean, that's not good. We'll just have to verify with Ace later. Make sure that, that his 408 actually continued. All right, we are on match point for Ace. Yeehaw. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I feel. I think at higher FPS, that entrance tunnel kills you more often than it does than not. If you just go straight into it. Uh, 
All right, that's no good. Is banning bullseye. Oh, Aces is ban banning Howler again. I was expecting him to ban GVG. <laughs> All right. Let's see where we go. I'm curious if that's no good is actually going to pull a force or not. So this, it is, this is match point for Ace. Try to trick him up a bit, you know. <laughs> We're going to a, wait no, that's already banned. <laughs> Never mind. He picked Abyss, but that's a perma band track. I actually forgot that myself until I looked over at my tracker. It's like, oh yeah, that's actually banned. Dang. <laughs> Ace is like, it seemed like it was a good ban. Yep, that's for sure. All right, we're going to Scrapper's Run for the match point for Ace. No bullseye. It would have been, man. Yeah, for anybody who's coming in late, uh, Adobe Mountain Run, Fire Mountain Rally, Bunta Classic, and Abyss were permabanned for this match. And so far, we have played on Mangaza Speedway, Sunken, uh, so what was Legacy, Sunken City, and Executioner. And we are heading to Scrapper's Run for the next one. Yeah, I, I highly anticipate both of them picking Ben, since Ben is optimal here. Change your life. Yes, copy, donkey. Something else. Mars has the funny lines. Yeah, no, yeah, it was... Both got a sub one. So, yeah, it was... You blink and you miss it kind of deal. I just realized on that's no good side, Ben is like super dark, but on Ace, Ace's side, Ben is kind of lighter. Some weird shading shenanigans going on. Huh. <laughs> All right, we'll see how this goes. Dropping into the speedy tube. Followed by the turn of death. Alright, good. And yeah, for some reason, that black and yellow wall easily can kill you. Stop 39 first lap for Ace. That's really good. Followed by 43. For that's no good. Looks like that was a neat record for him too. Yeah, the two that, that that's no good is in. If you don't boost, or I guess you can notice it either way. Oh, yep. Wall of death. <laughs> Get it? We call it the speedy tube because it actually speeds up your natural uh, speed while you're in it. And it, it slowly goes down after you exit out, so you actually have a higher top speed for a little bit. Uh, I do believe they're both across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> 51 from 
That's so good. And I didn't see what Ace's second lap was. Maybe you've heard of caution tape. I mean, it's it's a pretty nasty piece of caution tape, I'll tell you that. Oh! Same spot again for Nesto Good. Ouch. And a 151 for Ace. That is... Le GG's. Oh! <laughs> and that's one thing about these types of tracks. For some reason, the planet name is escaping me. But while th those tiny little walls, they're just a suggestion. You can just easily just clip right over it and just die. <laughs> Ibana, that's what it is. Thank you. Totally forgot. Yeah, that is Ladonarinos. Now I can click that button. There we go. I think. Where do I do it here? Oh, it doesn't matter either one. All right, GG's to both our runners here. And we're going to have them up here for an interview. Not from EA. <laughs> hello, good sir. Uh, hello there. GG on the win, Ace. That was some good pod racing from both of you. Thank you. Did quite good. Yeah, I saw some some lap PBs from both of you, I think. Unless those weren't true for you, Ace, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, they, they aren't. <laughs> I don't okay. think I will ever <laughs> PB in the tourney, sadly. <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, good job on, on PBs. Uh, that's no good. Like, uh, you beat your Sun City qualifying time by like 15 seconds in one try, which is really cool. Yeah, uh, I think my qualifying wasn't that good for me personally. Yeah, but hey, practice makes perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope uh, you had fun commentating that show. Yeah, it was really fun. I don't, I don't mind the solo comms every once in a while. Yeah. I it's appreciate it, for like sure. That. Not a problem. I think I left a lot of this for you to uh, talk about. Yeah, uh, there weren't any like strange picks or anything from what I saw, so... You know, a lot of me just hitting walls and then flying into another one. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's a bad feeling. The game likes to do that. Yeah, I forget what track it was. Oh, it was, I think it was Executioner. It's all back-to-back -back crashes in one of the tubes. For you, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, sorry that my it? stream dropped on Executioner. That was a bit unfortunate. I think it dropped on lap 3. Yeah, it dropped in lap 3 before you got to the, uh, the big laser tube thing. Mm, okay. Well, that's, uh, right before I actually crashed, I, I just crashed at the uh, at the switching gate, you know. <laughs> oh. Well, no one got to see it then. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> now I yeah. can I can show you the recording later if you want, but yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be fine. That way, I can just verify that you actually finished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trust the force, not the instruments. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, um, I think, aren't you going to race later, I'm not sure, or am I mistaken? You are correct. In about five hours and some change from now at 3 o'clock EDT, it's myself versus Lightning Pirate on the same channel, so to be gaming too. That should be a good match, I hope. And yeah. It's going to be Draco yeah. and Mikey commentating. That's also a good pairing. So I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, that's going to be a really good match. I got to I got to practice some stuff. Yeah, definitely this. warm up so <laughs> you can give him a good fight. I believe in you. Yeah, I I would try at least to knock off a few points off of him. Yeah. I know he's pretty Maybe good. Maybe prepare some pocket picks or something. 
Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I might watch that one. Might do, because uh, my internet tends to make all the streams just lag like mad, so I have to... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah hopefully I can watch it too. It's a little bit late for me, but it should be fine, so, yeah. Gotcha. Well, I don't think I have any other questions or comments. Do you guys have anything else to add? Not really. Ace? Uh, yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Like, we can wrap it up if you want. Alright, well, once again, thank you to Speed Gaming for allowing us to host this tournament here. Uh, thank you to Ace and That's No Good for wonderful comments. Uh, bench. And we will see you guys again at 3 o'clock, about 5 hours, 20 minutes from now. So stay tuned. See ya. Thanks for watching.